This video is to show you how to download and install fonts for use in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to Defont because that is uh, a free for personal use site so you guys can um, follow along. So it's defont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. I'm just going to pick one of these. I'm going to do all the way to the sun. I know I don't have that. So I'm in Firefox. I'm going to show you how to do it in a few browsers. So we're going to download. It's going to pop up like this. So I select OK. I'm going to go over here to my downloads right up here. And I'm going to click the zip file. So right here it says extract all. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click extract. And it's going to bring up all of the same files. I pick the open type. This one doesn't have a true type, but I always pick open type because that has all the extras and the glyphs and stuff like that. So I'm going to double click that and then right up here I'm going to click install. And that's it. If you have Design Space open, you will probably need to close it out and then reload it. I personally like to download my fonts in Firefox and then I open Design Space in Google Chrome um, after I'm done downloading. So now we're going to show you the same thing in Google Chrome. I'm going to pick a different font because I can't download the same one over again. So I'm going to pick the Casanova Scotia and I'm going to download. For Google Chrome, it usually just pops up right like this. I'm going to do the same thing, extract all, extract, and then I'm going to double click that and install. And again, if you have design space open, just close it out or that browser open, close it out and reopen it and it should show up. Some people have said they've needed to restart their computers, but I've never had that issue. So now we're going to do Internet Explorer so that I can show you guys how to download in there. Um, I don't have this font milestone, so we'll download that. So we're going to download it and right around the bottom it says, do you want to open or save the font, the file? I'm going to save it. Now it says my download has completed and I'm going to open the folder. So I'm going to right click on it with my mouse and I'm going to go up to extract all right up here. And it's going to ask me if I want to extract and it's going to do what it's done in the other browsers and it's going to bring me this. So I'm going to double click it, install it, and I'm all set. So I can just, uh, like I said, I use Google Chrome for design space so I'll close out my Google Chrome and I'm gonna reopen it just to show you guys uh, those fonts are there now click on my design space and then I'll just open a new project and text I'll just type out hello when I go to font I'll look up milestone and there it is.